Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melanie and this is Our Budget Life. I have here my Erin Condren Life Planner and I'm about to set up the first week in October. So it's the end of September, beginning October. So if you'd like to see how I'm going to set up this week, stay tuned. <music> Alright everyone, so as I said, I am going to set up the first week of October. So it is starting September 28th all the way to October 4th. Now I haven't done my October monthly yet, I am still waiting for my monthly kit, but I'm still going to go ahead and plan this week out so that we can go ahead and have it all set. And then once I have my monthly kit, I will go back and finish that and I will show you. Now to do the monthly kit, I will be using this gorgeous, gorgeous kit from Paisley Prince Co. It says Pumpkin Kisses and Harvest Wishes. So it has these purples and orange and brown. I love this combination of colors. So you get the nine full boxes and some um, quarter boxes, I guess. You get the checklist, the heart checklist with the Monday to Sunday, and then some other boxes. Here you get your bottom washi. These are decorative headers. You get some icons. Here we have some half boxes, some quarter boxes, more icons, and some scripts. Here you get some checklists, another Monday to Sunday, a lot of header boxes. You get your weekend banner and two tiny, tiny little planners down here. I don't know if you can see that, but two tiny, tiny planners. It's adorable. And then, of course, you get more labels here and you get your date covers with the date dots. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. Now, as always, I am going to go ahead and start with covering the bottom with the washi and then putting in my date covers. And once I'm done that, I will come back and we will continue the rest. Alright, so there we go. We have the bottom washi in and we have our date covers. So usually I would go on and work on the sidebar. So I wonder, do I want to do that again today? I might. Alright, let's see what we can do. I want to see. First of all, let's go to our boxes. I think I might add this pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes up here and then the rest will go in the center as usual and we'll go from there now let's see how we do with this whiting out situation again white out this hexagon oh a lot better works when you have an even surface to do this so if I can give anyone a piece of advice, if your planner is getting bulky and you have trouble whiting out because of the bulk, um, just open it up, put one sheet on your desk and it will white out perfectly. That was easy. Okay, so I'm going to start, usually I start at the bottom, but I've been noticing that, uh, I don't know, I'm just, I'm trying to fill space that I don't really need to fill, I guess. So I'm just going to put this down here and then we will go from there. Now I do want to add this week right 
here. And I think there was the other box. No, I didn't want to add that one. I think I'll go with this orange one. This Monday to Sunday ombre box. I like this. Okay, we'll do that. And then there is to call to buy. I do have a few things I need to buy this week. So let's do this. I will add a small piece of decorative washi right in the middle just to separate things. And we'll put this right here. And that's where we're at so far. I do have these two habit trackers that I want to use. Let's go ahead and use um, I think I'll go with this decorative washi for this one. So I'll put this one here. And I will put the brown one under that. And then I think I'm starting to put them down a little crooked. Hold on, let's see. All right, that's a bit better. Not perfect, but a bit better. And that one, we'll put this orange one right here. And then, what do we want to put on the bottom? I don't need a checklist, really. Okay, I'm going to try to do something I haven't really done before. I'm going to see if I can pull all of this up as one piece and use it as a decorative box. It does require me to cut it up a little bit. All right, so this is very new, so don't laugh if it doesn't work. Let's just see. I'm trying to get all of it, even the edges. But it means I have to cut it pretty precisely. One piece off, come on. And we'll do this side. And these are my new scissors from Erin Condren. A nice gold one. I treated myself. I like them. They cut very nicely. Okay, let's see if I can manage to make this work. I don't know. It's going to be rough. Can't even get it off the backing at this point. Come on. Okay, I think. Oh, I almost had the whole thing. Okay, let's try to put this down without breaking it. that 
that. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, so we got the bottom part. And now you go right here. Let's try to do this as perfectly as possible. Now this one did go down a little bit off. This bottom one. Let's see if we can fix it. Other than that, I think it was pretty successful. You can barely tell that it was three separate decorative headers. Not bad. Not bad. Not something I want to do all the time, but I think that covers it nicely. And it closes up the whole sidebar. So here is the final look at the sidebar. Whew. Okay, now I can breathe. That was... That was stressful. Okay, now this kit does not have glitter headers. Um, it did have those decorative headers, but no glitter headers. So I'm going to have to try to be creative here in the way that I lay down my stickers. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the boxes. You know I like to have my check boxes at the bottom. I use them for... Anything that I have going on in the day, anything I have to do, go by, get done, whatever. And that is so off. Wow. Come on. All right. Let's try this again. Get a little bit better. There we go. Okay. And then we'll do this one. Come on. All right, that one. Okay. I think I've got it. I've got a rhythm now. So this past week was, I guess, my first full week teaching again. And the way we're doing it is... Um, so I see my students two days in a row. I see half on one day in person, and I see the other day, um, the other half the next day in person. And then I see both halves together in the afternoon online for two days in a row. And that has been interesting. It has been definitely different to plan for. It's not a uh, planning style that I'm used to. It's not our usual schedule. So I did struggle with that quite a bit this past week, just trying to figure all of that out and make sure I had enough content to cover the classes because the in-class portion is three hours and 45 minutes. So that has been fun. I don't know if you can hear the sarcasm in my voice, but yeah. It's been a good time making it work, though. So, all right, now I'm adding the decorative boxes to the center. And I'm putting it up right against the check box or the checklist box so that I'm hiding this... Um, purple line here and then I'll be able to add more at the top to cover the rest. Alright, we're gonna go with this one here. So yeah, my class is three hours and 45 minutes in person. So when I teach them in person it's very long. And then the online portion is um, an hour and 15 minutes. And that's manageable because that used to be the length of our classes before, before COVID hit. We would teach four classes a day. Well, we, we would teach three classes a day. Um, and they were an hour and 15 minutes each. So that is definitely something I'm used to. And I honestly, I have no problem teaching virtually. I rather enjoy it, actually. I really like teaching um, online. 
and I could have applied, I guess, to be an online teacher for this year, but um, I needed to make sure that I was at my school because now my son gets dropped off by the bus near my school, so he has to meet me after work. And then I pick up my daughters from their school. So I needed to make sure I was somewhere central to all of that. And if I decided to teach virtually, who knows where they would have put me. Anyways, all right. I'm doing a lot of talking. Sorry, everyone. So here's what we have so far. Now, the top here is where I usually put like appointments and stuff. And that is what I'm going to do. Do. Now, let's see. I have these boxes. I might go ahead and use these at the very top. Actually, no. Nope, not yet. Not yet. I'm going to do these today headers. That I will use instead of having glitter headers I will use these and I think that will work and I will try to go in order of the color like the same color that I used for the check boxes and this is where I'll see if my date covers are crooked or not or evenly spaced out oh well okay let's do this So we're already in October. That's that's really exciting. I'm happy that we're in October. I mean, I don't know if any of you are from Canada. Um, I'm in Canada. I'm in Ontario. And the numbers of COVID cases keep going up pretty much every day. I mean, we had um, 435 today. Yesterday was 409. The day before was 370 something. But the day before that was like 478. So it's kind of a little bit all over the place. But in general, the average is going up every day. So that's making us a little nervous. And it also means that now we have no idea what we're going to do for trick-or-treating. My husband and I have talked and we are both right now considering not trick-or-treating and doing maybe like a, a scavenger hunt or something for the kids. That might be what we do. All right. Let me... I don't know if I want to put the same colored box down though when I just put that down. So let's try doing a decorative box. So I may alternate a decorative box with a solid box just to kind of I think I like that. All right, we'll do that. And so the last one was a decorative box. So this one I want a solid box. Then another decorative one. And I do have a weekend banner to go here. Where did I put it? Right here. Weekend banner. I don't know if I want to put it directly. Yeah, why not? I'll put it right there. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, that's not long enough to cover that. Okay. Um, I'll do, I think I'll do this. 
music, putting it on the, oh, that's not even. Do it this way. Alright, I'm not going to put the K down because I want to put something underneath that. I might go ahead and put this orange box there and this brown box here. All right now I can put the rest of the letters down. Okay. That brown box is a little crooked, but I'm going to deal. Now what did I do with those boxes? Okay, so I have decorative. I'm going to go with this brown one here. And then lastly, I will put this pink one on Sunday. Alright, so that's what we have so far. I might continue with that pattern and add these boxes here. And I'm just going to alternate the colors from the check boxes. And we'll do this one here. And this one here. And we'll do the orange one right there. That works. All right, now let's see what icons we have. Um, birthday, laundry, we have meals, which I don't need because that's what I'm gonna use here as my meal plan. Cleaning, alarms, camera, gas, and TV. Don't need any of those, so I think I might go here. Ooh, I do have a payday. So I can add my payday. Let's add a box for that. We'll add this orange one here. Like that. And we will put the payday on top of that. There we go. Payday is good. Now we do have uh, this Tuesday, I believe it is trash day, not recycling. Let me check. I think last week was recycling. No, that was trash. That one, I don't know. Let me check the monthly. Did I put it on the monthly? Recycling, trash, recycling, trash, recycling. Yeah, so that means this Tuesday is going to be trash day. So let's go ahead and use this box. And we'll put this one right here. We'll put this icon. And then I'll just write trash day right there. Um, let's see. On... Um, Saturday, my daughter has a birthday party to go to, so I will add this here. So I guess I could have added the birthday balloons because there is a birthday, it's just not my birthday or anyone in my family. My daughter is going to a birthday party. Hmm, let me add this little gift. That's cute, I like that. And so Saturday will be cleaning the house day. And Sunday is laundry. 
sometimes I alternate between Saturday and Sunday for laundry and cleaning, but I do prefer doing laundry on Sundays. I don't know why. I guess it's just something calming before I have to go back to work the next day. Who knows? And... I don't really have many more boxes to add. So I may add this little planner down here. It's just too adorable. And I will take one of these that I don't need. So I don't need the meal plan one. Come on. And I will do my planning on Friday. So I'll put it down here. And put this little planner on top. And I could have added a decorative header underneath that. Let's see if I can pull up that planner. Just a little bit, just to put this right here. Kind of fills up the space. There we go. I like that, that's cute. And Sunday, Sunday is me time. I do have me time on Sunday. So although it's laundry, it's also me time. I'm just gonna put that like that and maybe Put this asterisk there. I thought I saw another one. No, I guess not quite like that. That's okay. I'll leave it like that. There's these ones, but they're in the circle, and I don't really want that one. Okay, we have those days done. We just need to finish Monday. And Wednesday. Alright, this one I can put for Monday. This is part of a decorative header, but it is a thicker one, so I can just use that and put it there. Now, is there an icon I can use for that day? I don't think so. Oh, well, maybe. I am expecting some happy mail, so I'll put this little package there. And then here I could put, I could put this decorative washi. And I don't really have anything for Wednesday. I might go get groceries. I don't really see, I just see this handbag and then this shopping cart here. How about we put the, I'll put the handbag, there we go. And that'll be grocery day. All right, I think we are done. That is it for my spread for this week. So from September 28th, to October 4th spread all done so I look forward to using this it'll be fun all right well I hope you enjoyed I hope you are planning your week and I would love to hear how you've planned out your week make sure you can leave comments down below and remember to like and subscribe if you're new and click that notification bell you don't want to miss any of my videos and I will see you in my next video thanks everyone bye